As I've mentioned before, when I was diagnosed, it was beyond overwhelming. I was actually just completely paralyzed with my to-do list. I had all the treatments, everybody's suggestions. I had family leaning on me really hard about what I was going to do and whether I was going to live or whether I was going to die. And then on top of this, I had to change every single thing about what I was eating, mostly pasta and rice and bread. And I had to learn how to cook. I have a lot of recipes that I've invented so that you don't have to go through what I went through. They are listed below, but I also want to say there's a couple things that I've learned along the way. I want to tell you a story about my friend Mary. That's not her real name, but she's one of my clients. She has several children, a full-time job, and a husband who's completely overwhelmed with the whole diagnosis. I gave her my recipes, that helped a lot, but she was still overwhelmed. So I suggested that she enlist some friends and family by sending them the recipes that I had sent her and say, please, if you're gonna make me food, do it one of these high carb, low fat, ketogenic recipes. That worked pretty well, but she still was overwhelmed. I suggested that she maybe put out on Facebook or Instagram or email that she would like to hire someone for one day a week to come in and make some staples for her, like my ketogenic dairy-free bread, my ice cream, my brownies, my creamer. Those are kind of staples that you need to have. If you're gonna have a meltdown and a bad day, it's nice to have a fridge and a freezer full of ketogenic food or low-carb, high-fat food. Additionally, I recommended she get some new kitchen equipment, the same equipment that I had to get when I was diagnosed. At first I thought, oh my gosh, I can't afford a Vitamix, I can't afford a food processor, all these expensive gadgets that I didn't own. What I realized was that I could find these things on the internet. I found my Vitamix, an old metal one from 1980, on eBay. I found my food processor at the church thrift store. Additionally, you didn't have to buy expensive things. These are just simple little food peelers, and I use them to make noodles out of every single vegetable that I have, and it's much easier. Also, if you can't afford a food processor, you can't find one at a thrift store or eBay, you can buy a simple little tool like this which is an immersion blender, which you can use like a blender, but this is only $11. I know it's a lot. I'm asking you to radically change your life and what you eat. And it is gonna seem overwhelming because I have been there and I know. Just remember, one step at a time, one day at a time, one video at a time, and we can do this together.